Quiet night in is my delight. I love a quiet night in so much I have one every night. <laughs> Since we separated, I'm enjoying life alone. Taping suicide announcements on my answer phone. <laughs> I'm glad that we broke up. I have so many things to do. Like spend all evening thinking just of you. Even when I'm on the loo, your face comes into view. <laughs> I'm glad that we broke up, aren't you? No more boring mornings waking up with you in bed. I now enjoy the closeness of a hangover instead. <laughs> no more dreary evenings walking with our hands ensconced. Now I have both hands free, I can scratch two things at once. <laughs> I wonder how you are and if you have somebody new. Friends who care have told me that you do. I don't mind one or two, but your new lovers form a queue. I'm glad that we broke up, aren't you? <laughs> It won't be hard for me to find someone to take your place. All I need is someone with your body, mind and face. The things in that direction haven't worked out as I'd planned. The closest that I got is with your photo and my hand. <laughs> <laughs> A relationship's like carpentry, to build one thing from two. A hammer, nails or glue should be taboo. Screwing up a love affair's the only thing to do. I'm glad that we broke up, aren't you? I'm glad that we broke up, aren't you? I was, um, I was married for a while. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I met my wife at a party, Birmingham, 1976. Always the same at parties. Lots of people, lots of noise, lots of smoke. She looked at me across the crowded room. Her eyes met, and she thought to herself, one day, I'm going to divorce that man. <laughs> we had a great jokey relationship, always exchanging daft little gifts with each other. I once bought her a book called How to Improve Your Man in Bed. And she got somebody else. <laughs> You can always tell when a relationship is going badly. You can always tell there's little signs you can pick up on, you know? Like when you get home and find your partner taping all the albums. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> People get so vicious when they break up, don't they? I once broke up with somebody over the question of children. I wanted children. She said she didn't. I said, darling, darling, I'll be a great father. I'll be there at the birth and everything. She said, John, I don't want you there at the conception. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest relationship I ever had was with a woman whose father was a fireman. And he hated me. And I did everything I could to get him to like me. I set fire to his house. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice for him to work at home, you know. 